Hey salutations, you guys, it's Heaton here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today in the city of Santa Ana at the Goodwill Marketplace in, in Santa Ana. That's what I said. Uh, but if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor videos, do not forget to subscribe to the little bell buttons. So you know, notified when new videos do go up. And you're on Instagram, it's Heaton. Just like it's spelled here and check out my shop. It's Heaton.com to see what I for sale from the from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's hop in the store and go check it out. You guys, there's a cute little kitty right there. I gave him some water and a burger because he's so hungry. Look how adorable he is. Now he's like shy, he's camera shy. Look at how pretty his eyes are. Oh, little kitty. Go eat your food. Oh, these are only $3.99. Cool. Ooh, this computer is only $99.99. MacBook Pro, this one's $309.99. Oh, okay. What a couple of iMacs. That one's going to $25. $99. This is this one, $149.99. This one, $149.99. Alright, you guys, we were at the computer workstore. We're going to head into the Goodwill now. Let's see what we can find here. Alright, they have a bunch of toilet paper. Oh, they have a bunch of these chairs. This little outdoor table set. They have this little console table and also this coffee table on wheels. Which is pretty nice. They still have a bunch of sunglasses and hats. These are the ones from that are donated from um, Disneyland. A bunch of umbrellas. Oh my gosh, a bike trailer? No oh, way, how much are these ones? XC, is that like 40? I think it's like 40. Why is that more than 40? A Roman mug are horrible. Oh no, they're $89.99. Yes. They still have the pool table and the air hockey. Table. We also have this Tepo Chico Mineral Water. Yeah, I want to look at the bags. This backside right there is all like Target bags. And that side is all Target bags. This is the only side that's like the regular handbags. Ooh, I want a clear bag so bad. Like a cute one. Have you guys seen like the Hermes one that they gave away? Like during the fashion shows. Those are so cool. Hey, check this out. So Rebecca Minkoff, hold on. It's like, try to attach it somewhere. Rebecca Minkoff, it feels like nubuck leather. It's pretty cute. It does look like there's like a pen, couple pen marks. No, oh, excuse me, got a hiccup. Hmm. I'm gonna try with that. Oh, there's the price right there. 20 bucks. Not horrible. I'll think about it. I'm just gonna hold on to it. It's pretty cute. And the pin mark is not like the most noticeable on the back. This is a cute style, but I'm pretty sure this is from Target. Yeah, it is. I've been seeing a lot of these uh, Foley and Corona bags. So this one also is like, mmm. And I think this is color too, so that's gonna be a no. But let's check out the rest of the store. They have these little Tommy Hilfiger shoes that are kind of cute. Oh, look at these. <laughs> Andrea. Some Adidas. Probably those like cleats, is that what they were called? There's like a vintage Adidas hat. Kind of dirty looking. It might not even be vintage, actually. I might just look it. Okay. Simple syrup? It's not the Starbucks one, but this might be yummy. $2.99. Donuts. We have some sour lemon sour mix. 
Oh, here are the donuts. Dog beds. Rice cooker. Oh my gosh, my childhood sandbox! Comment down below if you guys have one of these. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had these exact bookshelves in my room growing up. Also, there's a Dyson vacuum right here. This is kind of a cool chair. Okay, so first of all, I kind of like this candlestick or candle holder. But I don't like the spiky thing because I'm going to just put a battery powered one in here. So I don't think I'm going to get it and I don't see any label or anything for the make. There's also this Paul Frank <laughs> pencil case. Oh my gosh, this is just like my pencil cases when I was younger. I totally had these like style. Oh, makes me feel so nostalgic. This is so awesome. Also, I just found this In-N-Out Burger duffel bag. Do I get this? Is it like worth anything? I'm gonna look it up. Okay, I found the In-N-Out bag for 80 bucks on eBay. There's one that sold on Poshmark for 50. Okay, so I found these Waterford cups. Found them right here. This is, oops, $70 for, I think the set. So two, four, six, seven looks like. All right, now I'm looking at Oh, that's kind of cute. No make or anything. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is cool too. Like a little mortar, a marble one for $2.99. It's missing the pestle. I think this is from Daiso. Oh, these are expensive. Do you like pampered chef? Yup, $6.99. That's actually a deal. And it looks like it's like probably brand new. This is cool too, a little blue and white action. Slide my down. Oh, this is interesting. It's made of like a smoky glass thing. These clothes are actually pretty cute. Main save, this is a Target, right? Main save by Target? I like the color of these plates too. It's like a peachy pink color from Pier 1. $4 a plate before. This whole set is $4 for three. Why do I like the color of these orange plates? They're so fun and vibrant. Okay, this Corel plate brings me so much joy. First of all, Corel plates are like indestructible. Secondly, I had a bunch of we had like a bunch of Corel plates go, growing up that kind of resembled these. Pretty sure these are also Corel, but ours were a little bit different, so they look just like that. Oh, look at this! Here are some Raydun. One ninety nine. There's taste. Oh, nibble, that's cute. I'm looking at the knickknacks. Look at that little frog thing. Oh, look at all these sassy ladies. They came out to play. $1.99. Oh my gosh. I have to see what theirs are made from. Hold on. Why did I just find these? Okay, so. Like this little set right here is 150. Are any of them there? Should I just buy all of them? They're so cute. I need a shopping cart. But I honestly don't really know how much any of these cost. Like, I don't think like this one's like a rare one, I guess, with a book. She's pretty. I love her with her book. All right, so I found this purple one. 45, 85. She's pretty pricey. Okay, I need, he really needs a shopping cart. I opted for this basket. Alright, let's see what else I can find over here. Because there's some like pretty cool stuff like hidden around here, I feel like. And I am living for it. So let's. Ooh, what is this little letter M thing? Oh, that's from Opal House. 
Hmm. Look at this seashell thing. This is interesting. Hmm. I have a bunch of ribbon down there. <laughs> this golfer guy. Okay, these pieces are kind of cool. I like plastic lamp. This one's a Project 62 from Target. I like this one. But I don't know if I like that blue that goes on top. There's also this cool like um, mercury glass kind of vase looking thin thing. Hmm. Oh, check out these ones. This one with the seashells inside of it. Yes, yeah, very coastal. This opal house mug is kind of cute. Oh, how cute is this little lamb? It's so adorable. Are you? Oh my gosh, I literally didn't catch it. Good thing it's just plastic. What is this one? Oh yeah. It's cute though. I like it. You guys, the kitty cat is still there. He's so cute. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house. I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the thrift. Okay, <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. I'm like speaking really quickly. But, okay, so, first things first, um, I got this amazing Missoni for Target vase. I thought it was beautiful. It's like black and white with a silver top. Um, yeah, Missoni for Target, stoneware, hand wash only. This was $5.99. It's beautiful. It's like very decorative. I like it. I used to have um, the matching, like, what were they? Like jars, uh, but I sold them. So I'm probably going to put this up in the shop because I think you guys like this design. I like it a lot too. I kind of wish I still had the jars to go with it, but um, it's a beautiful piece and will look fantastic in your home. Style on a console or a bookshelf, or side table, anywhere, it looks great. And then I got, um, okay, so, I'm sad to report that this little, this little lady had a little bit of an accident. So, she had something on there, um, it broke off inside the box. So that was very sad. Um, but it's by, um, there are these little figurines by, it's, they're called, uh, by Joseph Originals, um, and I think these are all like different months. Like they each represent a different month. This one is January. She's super cute, but she has a missing piece now, which I'm very sad about. I think she had one of these like little bow things, probably like this one has. Um, this little gal is April. She's really pretty in this light powder blue. Ooh, this yellow one. Which month is this? October? November. This yellow one is for November. These are each $1.99 each. And I looked these up and they are like pretty collectible. Like some are more collectible than others and more rare. But um, yeah. This one, I think it has a chip like right there in the bonnet. But like I mean, it's still cute, so I got her. This one I did see like that at the store, but I was like, you know what? I can't bear to leave her there without all her sisters, so I got her anyway. Um, this one is May. I might actually just sell these all together since two of them have chips, I think. At least I think two of them do. Um, this one is still in good working order. This one is October. She has some sort of musical instrument. Is it a lyre? Is that what they're called? Ly lyre? I don't know what kind of instrument it is. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But I think that's what it is. I have no clue though. Um, then, ooh, this one's beautiful. This one's May. I love how her hair is flowing in the wind. That is the best. Look at that. Her hair is just like windswept. She also has her tiny little dog. Very cute. It looks like it's a little miniature poodle. Then we have this purple one. You know, there's no March one. March is like my birthday. This one's February. So this one is, oh, this is perfect for like mom. She would actually probably really like this. Um, I don't know. I think it got chipped right there too. That's a bummer. But it's so cute anyway, regardless. And I think she also broke in half and was glued together possibly. I didn't even notice this one. I'm just like hot mess up and just like buying them all up, not knowing that they're broken. But they're so cute. Like they're like little sassy ladies and I love it. They're so super cute. Oh, they, they, I think this one, I can't even talk. 
This one, I think, is my favorite one. And she's December. I love her dress. She is so festive. She is ready to party all throughout the month from Christmas to New Year's. I love her dress with the stars and I love her little tiara crown thing and her dainty little hand that goes like that. She's fabulous. Okay, she's my favorite. Ooh, I really like her. Okay. Now I'm kind of growing attached to them because I made up like a little story and now they're probably gonna live with me forever. I don't know. <laughs> Someone take them. <laughs> I can't have so many things. But they're really cute. They're $2 each. So I spent two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 dollars on these little ladies. Um, if anyone's interested, I'll probably put them up in my shop if anyone does like them. Again, I think I'll probably sell them all together. I don't know, or maybe just sell um, them individually because I think three of them that I inspected have some sort of damage and the rest of them are in great shape, right? Am I making that up? Anyway, um, then I went to another store and when I went to this store, my camera died and Hadrian forgot to bring an extra battery. Um, I did film it on my phone so I will like pop it up right here, but This always happens to me whenever like I go to a store really quick. I was like running out of time and I was like, you know what? We're just gonna go and it's gonna be okay. And I, my battery died. Another Dyson vacuum. Like, are you kidding me? How many Dyson vacuums have I gotten so far? So, so far this is the third Dyson vacuum that I have thrifted, um, like the, re the cordless ones. Um, I got one before. And then I got a new one recently, and the one I got recently was brand new. And that one cost a lot, because I think, how much was it? I don't remember how much I paid for it. Was it $100? Something like, oh, some, uh, around $100. This one was $14.99. Like, this one is a deal. Um, it didn't have like the charging cable to go with it, but my charging cable actually fits in this one. So I know which one to buy if I need another one. Um, but literally works like a dream. So I'm very, very excited about it. I'm going to be testing it out for the next week just to make sure it works because I can always return it. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about this, you guys, because I got another one of these nice vacuums. Um... This is definitely going to go to uh, my cousin though because I want to give her a vacuum because she doesn't have one. So this is going to go to her. Very exciting. But I can't believe I got another Dyson vacuum. Like this is so crazy. Ugh, $14 a net. What a deal. Like right? Like $14.99. Like are you serious? Like thank you so much Goodwill for doing this for me. I just left something on the floor that I had to vacuum. Okay, but that pretty much rounds out today's video between the vacuum and my sassy little ladies that I got. I couldn't be any happier. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give the video a big thumbs up for the vacuum and for the sassy ladies, please. If not for the vacuum, for Miss December. Because look at her. She's ready to party. And um, with this new vacuum, I am too. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. A lot of you are new here, so thank you guys so much for joining the Thrift Squad. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, ooh, also I have started doing live videos, and by have, I mean I did one so far since um, I filmed this <laughs> little haul. Uh, I think I'm gonna start doing them at least once a week probably on Saturdays. Comment down below what day is best for you and what times if you guys would like to join. They're super duper fun, super casual. Just sharing with you guys what I find at this thrift um, and also like selling them because they're live sales. And there's like shoes, handbags and stuff. Um, the things that are probably gonna be in the sales are gonna be the new items that I haven't listed yet in the shop. And it'll be like a great way to like show you guys what I have and be able to give you even more of a discount on them because I'm not spending time like filming them and listing them and all that stuff. So go, um, I'm gonna have that video up for a little bit, I think. I was only gonna have it up for 24 hours, but I want you guys to see how it is and all that fun stuff. Because I had a blast with you guys, and if you guys were in that live, like, comment down below and let me know if you guys were there. It was so much fun at one point. I think, like, 
um we had over 100 um of you guys in there and that was so much fun it was so fun chatting with you guys and talking to here talking to you guys as you messaged me so i appreciate each and every single one of you so thank you thank you thank you, thank you guys again for all of that it was so much fun um but yeah i'm gonna end the video here tune in tomorrow by early at 7 a.m for a new video i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all in the next one all right bye